to Dana Kozlov. She is right out there in front of the Henry Pratt Company. And Dana, you've been speaking to people on the scene out there? Uh, well, I've actually just um, said hello to this gentleman who told me that you what your mom. First of all, what is your name? And, and you're saying your mom works here. Yeah, my name is uh, Jake Simmons, and my mother's worked in there for about 10 years now. Have you talked to her yeah, since I've been with her the whole time? The whole time. Can you kind of tell me what she was saying to you? Uh, she's just scared. Uh, you know, at the moment she said that they heard some shots, so they uh, kind of took cover and uh, slewed a part of the building, and no one really said much. That they, that they know that some of the officers and some of their fellow employees have been shot. Did you know, does she work in this main building here? Hey, she works in the shipping and receiving department in the building. Is it in this building right behind us? Yes. Okay. So do you know where, did she say where she believed the shooter was in the building at the time? She said, uh, she, damn, she didn't know. Yeah, I believe somewhere towards, they had a meeting today with the, some union, and uh, she said that he feels that they were going after the union guys. Okay, and we, of course, this is unconfirmed at this point. We have no idea. But um, so you were on the phone with her the whole time. What else was going on? Was she saying, were they putting people, were they telling people to take cover? They didn't tell anyone to take cover. They didn't, they don't, they didn't really say anything. They said it's, it's an active shooter and that they were on lockdown and not to leave the building. But they didn't say to go any specific, just they were on lockdown, don't leave the building. Yeah, don't leave the building. They were letting them free, uh, roam around free at one point. She was going to get a phone charger. I told her to make sure she stayed with somebody. I'm like, Mom, stay with somebody. You know, this is a very scary moment. I saw at one point what looked like a line of people walking up to the second floor like they had been sequestered or, or hunkered down oh, in it. Well, right now they got them all locked down. They're not, she said she had to go. They wanted them off the phone. They wanted to sit and talk to everybody, and they were going to go through the interview process. They don't know when they're going to let them out. They haven't told us when she's going to be able to go home or anything. So, it's, Did she say how many shots she heard? She said that uh, she didn't even count. She didn't even know as fireworks or shots at one point until someone came running in that said that they're shooting. Uh, and what did you say to her? To try, were you trying to keep her calm? Yeah, the whole time. Just, you know, just relax that, you know, the, the police will do their job. And if you don't, you know, just stay calm and we'll, we'll pray. <laughs> and uh, she was talking to people on the phone and I, she just kind of... I was just on the phone in limbo the whole time with her. She kept saying, well, I'm going to call you back. I said, no, don't hang up the phone. <laughs> and every time the phone got disconnected, I called her back right away. But she was able to answer it. Yeah, yeah. She was on the phone the whole time until probably about 20 minutes ago when they just made everyone go upstairs. She said they told us to get off the phone. They want us to come upstairs. And now we're kind of sitting here like, what's going on? Did she indicate they wanted them to come upstairs to talk to them one by one? or? She said they were going to have a meeting. Okay. That's. How long has she worked here? She's been here about 10 years. Okay. And um, is, and never any other issues. Is she hearing who the? I, I hate to ask this, but any who the shooter not named, don't name, but who the shooter might be. Is it someone, someone they know inside? Yeah, she knows him. She does know it. She knows him. Yeah, she knows his name and knows who it is, and she knows all the details. I don't want to say anything because it's an ongoing investigation. But yeah, they're all aware. They knew inside who it was. Well, and we don't want to say any names no, either, of exactly. course. At this point, that would not be, the, you know, the, the right thing to do at this point. But she knows him. Can you just tell me this? Is this person? Um, is it a man? And is it a current or former employee? It's a man and a current employee who was going to be terminated soon, and she said she's not surprised. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But your mother is okay. Do you mind sharing her name with me? It's Caroline Dryson. Okay. But she is okay. Yeah. You're okay. Now you're, are you going to stay out here until I'm, she's... I'm going to give her right home. I'm staying out here until they say we can take your mom home. And are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, I, now I was quite frantic because you hear about it on social media. I'm scrolling through and, oh, that's, that's my mom's work. So I left work right away and been scourging around in my vehicle till I could get close to be, uh, to take her home. So. Good. All right. And you said it was Jake. Yeah. Jake, thank you for talking with oh, us. I'm you. glad your mom is okay. Thanks. And um, uh, and and again, no idea when they're going to let them leave. No, no idea yet. Awesome. Waiting for the phone call. Okay. All so. right, Jake. Thank you so much. Thank you. So um, uh, I, I, I'm not going to reiter reiterate what Jake just said, but it, it kind of makes sense as to what I've been seeing, that they're not letting employees leave yet. They want to talk to them. Um, nothing has been confirmed. I want to uh, repeat that, but according to now reports from employees, this uh, shooter was known t to them unconfirmed but known to them uh, there may have been a motive but of course police have to work that all out we're going to try to talk to some more people too and we'll bring them over if we can for now back to you Robin Erica
Okay, Dana Kozlov with Jake Simmons, very insightful there, and again, all unofficial, but it, they kind of pieced together some of the uh, information and.